recording. This meeting is being recorded. All right, welcome to As You Go Strong and Fit's presentation of Eat Love. It's a platform that, you know, we did a lot of, I don't do anything without researching what's out there, making sure that, you know, it's going to be something that fits for people like me, which people like her, other people, because when I look at software and I look at web dashboards and whatnot, it has to function and it has to not be something where, um, you know, the learning curve shouldn't be too steep. The other thing is, you know, we looked at all these different nutrition platforms that were out there and we looked, looked at uh, different people who provide nutrition coaching and services. Um, and we looked at what they were offering and we we're like, wow, for what you're charging, you know, uh, accountability coaching, that's cool. But we needed something because people are like, well, what do I eat? And that's the common thing that we hear all the time is, well, what do I eat? I mean, you can tell somebody macros left, right and center all day long, but most people are going to look at their food label and be like, what do I eat? You know? And so this is um, the Eat Love platform. We spent a lot of time talking to, I spent a lot of time talking to the CEO about how she came up with it, what they do. Um, and for those who care about like the technical components of it, you know, it's adaptive. It takes in preferences and we'll go through all these different things. But if you were to say, you know, Kevin, I'll ask you, we'll just put you on the spot because you're staring right at me. I can see Absolutely. you. Beautiful. The world is behind you. It's fantastic. So if I said to you, you know, like, okay, what are the barriers for you cooking or like for your nutrition? What are those barriers that you have currently? I don't, I don't like a lot of stuff. I that's love it. it. That's <laughs> it. But that's, I mean, that's the most simplest thing. I don't like a lot of stuff, right? Um, and in this, it's going to show you, it asks you like things that you don't like and you just click, don't like, don't like, don't like, don't eat, don't eat, don't eat. And then it will put together a plan based on your preferences, cool. right? The other cool thing about it was, hey, you know, uh, how much time do people have to cook? We hear that all the time. Well, I don't have a lot of time to cook. And I'm like, really? Because I can literally do what I just did, throw chicken breasts, chicken thighs, chicken thighs, always chicken thighs, in the air fryer, right? And hit go. And 28 minutes later, these things are like a little bit crispy. It's good. You know, the fat's all drained off the bottom. So it even asks you, what do you have as cooking utensils, mm -hmm. right? And when I, I don't mean like a fork and I don't mean tongs, I mean like, do you have an oven? Do you have an air fryer? Do you have a food processor? And if you say that you have these things, um, it will create recipes based on the utensils or the appliances that you need. I just put in an air fryer and, you know, uh, cooking skill low. And I only have, you know, 10 or 15 minutes a day to cook. And I want leftovers and it created these plans. And my son and I, who's a very picky eater, he was like, I'd eat that. And we were like, yes, this is a win. Because if a 10 year old who's brought up on like chicken nuggets, peas and corn is saying that he will eat, you know, whatever it is, roasted asparagus with steak stuff. I was like, sweet. If you have veg, uh, not vegetarian, but like dietary restrictions, you can plug all these different things in there. So like we did this thing where we wanted to eat a vegetarian for a week and see what that was like. I was starving and had horrible gas, <laughs> but I think that's your, your body adapting to those things. So without further ado. Well, but just right before we share the screen with you, I just want to personally say that when Greg had this conversation with the creators of this platform, he was very excited about it. And one of the big things that stuck out for me from what he told me was how it really takes away the excuses because it's so easy for us yeah. to say, number one, I don't have time and just grab something that's quick. Maybe it's a processed meal um, or it's something just that's got low nutritional value and you know that you, there's something better you could be eating. So with this platform, like he already referenced, it's going to ask you, well, how much time do you have to cook? What yeah. things do you have in your kitchen available to you? Um, it's going to ask you other things like, do you want leftovers? So on one day, you might make three portions of something that you can then eat for the next two days because maybe you don't really have time to cook on those other two days. And there's something else. This is, I think this is the best part. 
you can specify, you know, the portion size for the other people in your family. Mm -hmm. You can plug in how many people are in your family. And then it creates the meal plan. And then it creates the shopping list. And when people are like, oh, well, I don't have time to go shopping. Well, guess what? It partners with Instacart, Amazon, Whole Foods, whatever, like go buy your food and deliver it to your house shopping experience. So again, when I said there's no more excuses, there's seriously, the only excuse is you have to cook it, right? Because if you're not like those Hello Fresh boxes, you still have, have to, to cook them. You still have to cook yep. those. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. this, you get control over it. You still have to cook it, but you could have that stuff delivered to your house. I mean, it, it and you can make it for your family. That's yeah. another great thing. This isn't just you on a solo journey. If you have a spouse, if you have kids and they, you want to, them to be included in it, you can add them and then it's portioning yep. out for everyone in your family. I thought that was, I mean, like, like I said, it removes all the excuses. I looked at that and was like, I'll use this. And then we've actually looked at some of the recipes and we're like, oh, you kind of already eat like that. So again, let's just jump into it yeah. so that you guys can see it because until you see it and go through it, it's kind of, eh, it's not there. Pete love. Here we go. I think the name's kind of weird, but all right. Can you see this? We all love to eat. Yep. <laughs> right. Right. Am I right? So can it, you can, can you see guys that? see the screen? Kevin, you can we see can. That? Okay. Cool. Thank right. you. Now, today is dinner. And right. this is an example of how it looks, having set up our preferences, but we're going to go through yep. and just give you a quick look at what it looks like to set up your preferences. Are you on a on an iPad or a computer? This is a uh, the web. Oh yeah, this the is computer. the computer. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's go into. We'll look at nutrient profile first. Right. So you can go. This will tell you. You put all your information in, and then you can see up here where it says healthy diet. You can change these based on go ahead and what you want to do. So right here, a healthy diet. If you look at these, and it has some of the things, these are, now let me just preface this whole thing here, is run by adaptive AI behind it, but the science is run through registered dietitians. So they have vetted all of these meals. They have put in parameters. And sometimes it goes a little wonky. Uh, and we've talked to them about that. But um, for the most part, you can, I mean, I don't yeah, even, I don't even know what all stuff. of these are. Some of these things are, there you go, muscle gain. Some of these things are uh, the restrictive to people who have special dietary needs uh, that a registered dietitian would kind of move you through with that. Um, they actually do have an option in here to have you know counseling with registered dietitians if you chose to go that route. I like this one, increasing vegetables, right? For people who don't eat a lot of vegetables, that gives you ways to find uh, different types of veggies, like what should I eat? These things, these are all the specific ones to special dietary needs. Uh, so I wouldn't select that, breastfeeding, celiac, all Let's the, go to the weight there's loss. a ton in there. Which one was that? The weight management. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah, here we'll hit weight management. And this is for a female, you put in how much you weigh, birth And date. your goal weight, right? So you're going to put in your current weight and then you're going to put in your goal weight. So it's going yep. to help you to lose the weight. If you wanted to put that in there, um, activity level, sedentary, low, active, very active, estimated calories per day. We would help people determine that. And that would be based on the in-body scan that we do in the gym. Um, or you could get uh, a basal metabolic rate from somebody else. And then we could plug that in, help you with that. But we've selected weight management. We'll go ahead and save these changes. All changes have been saved. Then you'll see it throws in, again, you know, the percentages, 45, 25, 30. Um, 
we've adjusted that for ourselves. Uh, and you can go in and specify what that is. So you'll see that it's going to give you on average anywhere from 2,300 to 25. And that's specific to her. Um, again, these are the parts where people look at this and go, huh? Uh, and you don't need to worry about that part because like it takes all of that out. Yep. You know. It takes all that. It, it calculates that for you. If you had specific macros that you wanted to uh, set, you can do that. This is where we get into the meal preferences, right? Who's eating? And then you have here, you can add in breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. If you said, hey, I only wanna do one uh, curated bespoke meal, she hates it when I use that word, but if I only wanted to do one curated meal, you know, just to ease into this, pick one, right? Whether for people who don't eat breakfast, it's like, okay, try breakfast options, try a lunch option, try dinner. Um, or of course you can just have a yeah. whole day on you can turn them all on and yep. then right there where he's hovering over you can add your family members if you want to include them in this yep. as well children have different caloric needs than preteens than adults and this is where like the nutrient profile these are the same things that we're talking about those macros you can go back into that and you can make modifications to this each person can have their own we'll jump back into the meal preferences though so who's eating? We're going to stick with her. Um, she's, you know, I'll just turn these on so we can see them. Uh, we'll go to food avoidances. This is the cool part. Eats all the things. That's me. Right. Then you have, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you have people who are lacto vegetarian, which is, I guess, milk and vegetables. Then you have ovo vegetarian, eggs and vegetables, then pure vegan. Pescatarian, you eat fish. Uh, vegetarian, lacto, ovo, which I guess is milk and eggs. So there's all those different variations that you can pick. You can then go in and we do eats all the things. I mean, <laughs> if anyone wants us to look at it from their specific thing, you know, say something and we can show you what that is. Um, or, yep, select household allergies and avoidances and we won't show recipes with them. I don't know about you, but game meats, that's like, you know, not lamb, but that's like venison. I'm not, you know, well, where, where are you gonna get that? Don't show me a recipe with like rhinoceros or kangaroo in it, <laughs> right? So maybe no game meats and uh, we won't play that game again where we do no soy, because soy, no soy and dairy. Anyway. Awesome. So let's move to the next one. Taste preferences. What do you like? Do you like whole milk, low fat, skim milk, rice milk, almond, coconut, soy milk? What kind of rice do you like? Right? Um, anybody say anything? Nope. Uh, what do you want to put in the low fat cow milk and white rice? Yeah, we'll do that. Low fat cow milk and white rice. Cooking and shopping. What do you have available? Here we go. This, I mean, this is this. I've never Put seen this. Slow cooker. Put that one in. Oven, stovetop, slow cooker. Grill. We do have a grill. We have a spiral lighter. There you go. So there you go. We'll just pick these because that's what we have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you have those, you can pick these. And if you just want to restrict it to something like air fryer and do everything in the air fryer, like I like I do. Go ahead. Um, then when you go grocery <clears throat> shopping, when we lived overseas, we went daily because our refrigerator was the size of a shoebox. Um, in the United States, we have giant ones. So I think we pretty much go once a week, mm -hmm. right? So let's just change that to once a week. And then it asks you, how much time do you have to make your meals? Oh, recommend organic. If you wanna go organic, you can. If not, turn it off. Um, we'll talk about the studies that show some of those things, but here you go. Breakfast. How much time? Most people are groggy. Oh, I only have 15 minutes. Sweet. Lunch. You're probably eating that at work. Um, so you probably make it before, you know, but let's say like under 30 minutes and then guess what? Kids are home. School's going. It's a mess. You know, maybe you only have 45 minutes to make dinner, 
right? Among all the other amazing busy lives that we have. Um, you can then go in here and do simple recipes only, right? So look at that, fewer than nine ingredients. I think that that's something neat. What does it say? Simple recipes are not yet available for nutrition requirements. Yep. How many leftovers do you want? And what's your cooking skill, right? Beginner, intermediate, advanced. And so, you know, we left this to make it as simple as possible. And when you save these changes, it's going to save, it's going to think, and then it's going to change all the meals. And somehow we got the same meal today. Go ahead and click me. Yeah. So let's take a look at what this is. This was dinner for today, the recommendation. Yep. High energy jerk chicken breast and quinoa and green beans. Right. So two dishes, and then it tells you everything you need to do to make that higher energy jerk chicken. Here are the instructions on how to do it. And- Which looks pretty simple. Yep, five steps. Yeah. Literally five steps. Um, and apparently it's 15 minutes. And um, then just scroll again, here's how green. much to eat. So that's really important too, because when we've made the food, often we eat something and then we are not sure if we should eat more of it or not. So this is great because it's actually telling you, go ahead, eat the whole thing, which is what you want to hear, right? Yeah. <clears throat> right. Because then it's, you know, the question is, well, how much, how much of this do I eat? We only made one version of this. If you're going to have leftovers, uh, you can adjust that. And then it has all the nutrition information that yep. you use. So if you are logging on another app, if that's something that you're currently doing, like I know my fitness pal is really popular still and people log on that, then you have all of that information to put over into my fitness pal uh, so that you have your, you know, your exercise and your nutrition going along together. Yep. Which this is just, I mean, that nutrition information is awesome because one of the things when you are using something like my fitness pal is it's super easy to put in nutrition information when you're eating something that's packaged because it's on the label on the box or whatever. But as we know, eating packaged food isn't really the best for us. But when we're making something from scratch, then we really sometimes have no idea. Well, I don't know how many carbs or how much protein is in this. So all right. that information is there for you. So long as you follow, you know, components of here. Right, and you make it according to the recipe. And how much salt does it ask for? Look at that. Two teaspoons of jerk seasoning. So I would make my own jerk seasoning, right? But and then you know how much salt is in there, or you could buy one and you'll know how much salt is in that if you're on a low sodium kind of diet. But that's one meal. Let's take a look at a breakfast. There's tomorrow's dinner. Where is your, where is your breakfast? I don't know. What happened here? You turned it on, right? Yeah. Two day max. It was on the. Um, Oh, they're off. Oh, it's because you hit some changes. Oh, uh, what do you know? Here we go. There we go. Change yeah, my change. meals. Mm. There you go. Probably gonna but this is one of the things that like when we looked at other nutrition plans and nutrition outlets that were available, um, that's great. The, uh, options that it was giving wasn't taking into consideration like our ability to cook oh, yeah. right. to to you know like what did we have and i don't i mean i don't know about you but like i don't want to spend all day in the kitchen um oh my gosh that sounds so good open that up yep carrot cake oatmeal. <laughs> carrot cake oatmeal so right there i mean it tells you it takes 10 minutes to cook five minutes to prep and this is the kind of thing I would make it once. And if I liked it, I probably would make three, four days, maybe even a week of it. And then just have it ready each morning for breakfast. Yep. It sounds delicious. Well, you can make this tomorrow. 
I don't know if I'd put the hemp seeds in there. Right, and again, you have the opportunity but to- But those are high in protein. And then there you go, you get to eat the whole thing. It tells you how many calories you have, what's your fat for the day. Fantastic, how much 18 grams of protein. Yeah, great. I mean, and that's relatively apart from the milk, that is something that is super- uh, I think pretty much just, I mean, I, I don't have lactose-free milk, I have regular milk. I'd use, I would use oat milk. We could make that right now, we have all those ingredients. Yep. So. And the air fryer just quit. Tomorrow's snack, avocado, black bean, tomato sandwich with oranges and cashews. Sounds pretty good. Cashews. What do you have to do for that? One ounce. That's it. Super simple. Simple enough. One avocado, four slices of whole wheat bread. That seems like a lot. And you would. But you're yep. eating half. You would eat half of that. And then you have leftovers. So you could even, yes, you would have leftovers, but you could also. Uh, just make half of it if you wanted. Now, the cool thing here, you know, we're showing you what these are. You can share them to certain, you know, to people and be like, hey, let's make this tonight. If you're, you know, out and about or you want to go hang out and eat food with your friends, you can swap it, right? You can go in and be like, hey, I want a smart choice restaurant meal choose from favorites. So if there's stuff that yeah. you really like, you can save them along the way. And then if something like this comes up and you think, oh, I don't want to eat that, you can switch it out for one of your favorites. Yep. So let's pick smart choices and see what happens there. Here's an option. Well, I didn't like those, so I want to swap it with something. And chicken pita with oranges. So that's chicken, pita, and cucumbers, avocado toast, berries, and milk. Not much different than what we just were looking at. Peanut butter, English muffin, and apples, which I would eat, oh, right? Definitely. Yep. So I'd be like, all right, select this. And I mean, think about how simple that is, right? This isn't something where uh, you know, you're not having to fiddle really a lot with it. Um, with this, you can add other foods to it just by adding something in there. You can create custom foods. I haven't really explored that too it's much. Just in, I mean, in essence, it's so versatile. It just... It's real, like we said before, it just takes away the excuses. It does. And really help you keep on track. And I think this part's the cool part. Add the meal ingredients to, to your grocery, grocery list. list. So if I wanted to go back to breakfast, hey, guess what? I want to make sure this was so good. I'm going to add that to my grocery list. Then I'm going to go to my snack. I'll add that. And this looks delish. Chicken cheese sub, grapes and sunflower seeds. How on earth can you eat that if you're trying to do weight management? But let's find out because guess what? It tells you how to make it. You're going to make two of them and six ounces of rotisserie chicken. I've never been a fan of people, you know, that being in there because you're going to have to either cook it yourself uh, or buy cut up chicken, which is a little bit more expensive. But the thing is, is slices of tomato, mozzarella cheese, we have that stuff, whole wheat hot dog buns, 14 baby carrots. It's really on point too with all your fruit and veggies. Right, and I mean, you know, I'm a sucker for uh, pizza and cheese and nachos and things like that. So this would totally hit the spot for having like melted ooey gooey cheese and like a chicken parm. Like I would totally eat this, which is, I'm very picky about my food and uh, other people are as well. And that was when I saw this, I was like, all right, these are cool options that actually work. And then again, add it to the grocery list. So then you can go. Yeah, I was just going to say, we don't want to take up too much time, more of your time, guys. So if you have yeah. questions, please feel free to unmute yourself and ask. And then we can show you the answers, hopefully through the, the dashboard here. All right. I'll just show you here. Look, buy online. You can have it, I mean, you can have that stuff delivered. It even gives you a list. You can print it out and take it with you to the grocery store. I mean, like I said, this is removing all those excuses of, oh, well, I got to take my lunch to work. Well, guess what? Get a cooler. You know, we take our lunches to places. Um, it's delicious. You know, it's, you, you, can, you can do this. It's not that hard. And what we are hoping to do is be excited by it, be excited and help other people navigate through this. And that's part of the reason why we're offering it, showing it to people, 
Just so that, oh, hey, there's chat stuck on one. I have to log off. Cool. No problem, Angela. I can send it to you. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. No. You can add oat milk. I don't know whether it directly links to my fitness. Pal. I don't know that. Um, I can always ask because yeah. we do have that connection. But in the interest of keeping this under. Yeah, if you guys have questions, feel free to unmute and ask. Um, and just... if not, there's one other thing that I'm going to add. Anyone? Oh. Okay. Um, so the other thing is obviously. Uh, if you saw our newsletter last month where we kind of introduced the platform, there's three levels of air quotes coaching that go with it. So you can choose to do Eat Love on your own and use the platform and kind of be self-sufficient if you feel like you're going to be good at following the program. Or you can do a, uh, a monthly, like a once a month check-in with me. Um, or you can do a weekly check-in. So here we're going to be having a call and we're going to be making sure that you're on track, following the plan, what's working, what's not. What are we going to do differently for next week? Because accountability, as we know with our exercising, is huge. It's the same with nutrition um, and just making sure that it's working for you because we don't just kind of want to say, hey, here it is, off you go. I want to make sure that you're getting the most from it. And if you're having any issues that I'm there to help you with it as well as giving you my expertise as a nutrition coach as well so that go. is there's three options to that look at that you yeah. want it delivered to your house it's that simple wow, look at that i didn't even realize it went to all of those places yep. you click a button they'll they'll bring it all you got to do is cook it no excuses nope and on that note i'm gonna go eat because <laughs> i love to eat let's uh yeah let's go ahead and end the recording and um Thanks for listening. Have fun. Oops.